Hello friends and welcome to the third part of video tutorial series on molecular dynamics. In previous video, we have seen how to code this uh, Wurlitt algorithm and Beeman's algorithm. And in this part, we will take some example and uh, solve them with the help of this Beeman's algorithm. Right, so let's start now. The first example is pendulum. So as we all know, uh, pendulum performs an oscillatory motion when, once we release it from some angle, some theta angle, right? And uh, its motion is governed by this differential equation. Here this theta double dot is the second derivative of angle and this g is the gravitational acceleration. This L is the length of arm, means this arm, right? And this is the simple sine, sine theta. Now, uh, there are no analytical solutions available for this differential equation, means we cannot uh, solve this uh, differential e equation analytically. So, how to compare our numerical results with uh, the actual result? Because there are no actual results, right? So, here's the answer. We will uh, take help of energy conservation. Because for a conservative system, energy uh, remains constant throughout the trajectory. And this is the equation for total energy. This first term means a half m omega square l square represents the kinetic energy of pendulum. And this minus gl cos theta represents potential energy of a pendulum. Right. So without wasting a time, let's jump to the code now. Okay. So... This is the code guys, let's see. So the entire code is same. Uh, I am again defining this uh, Mr. Dynamics class. This is the initialization part. This is the heart of Mr. Dynamics, the algorithm part. In this case, we are using Beeman's algorithm and this is the plotting part. I have made some changes uh, in this part to create a kind of an animation. I have also changed this uh, acceleration term. As you can see, minus gl minus g by l into sine theta, right? So let's uh, run this code and see what we are getting. Let's run this thing. Okay, so we are getting this result. So here, this uh, blue straight line represents the arm of this pendulum and this uh, red dot is our particle and it is performing an oscillatory motion. Here, this uh, orange continuous curve is our kinetic energy as you can see here and this uh, green curve represents the potential energy of this pendulum right and here this uh, blue line is the total energy of a system so let's uh, go back to the presentation for result and discussion so here's the total energy as you can see here throughout the trajectory it is remaining constant means we are getting the correct result so as we can uh, as we have seen in previous video that uh, Beeman algorithm is giving very uh, less error compared to Wurlitt and euler kromer method here uh, also that fact reflects means energy is constant now let's uh, jump to the second example the most popular example linear jones potential or in sh uh, short word lj potential 
so why it is so famous the answer is it's a mathematically simple model that approximates the interaction between pair of neutral atoms or molecules and this is the expression for lg potential this is the potential energy this uh, small r here and here is the distance between two atoms okay now uh, focus on this two parameters this rm and epsilon let me show you uh, what's the importance of these two parameters see this uh, is the equation of uh, lj potential which i have written in this uh, desmos grapher okay and this is the potential energy curve right this is the lj potential let's uh, vary this uh, a means here this a is acting as an epsilon let's vary the value of a and see what we are getting okay so if we increase the value of this epsilon the value of minima is decreasing right so we can say that this uh means uh, this epsilon is the strength of potential now uh let's focus on this rm term let's uh, vary its value so as we can see here if we vary the value of this rm the position of minima is changing right so this rm act as a shift so yes this epsilon is the strength of potential and rm is the shift of minima now we will approximate our problem to uh, make things easy so here uh, focus on this word pair of uh, atoms and molecules pair means at least two atoms or molecules but at this stage it uh, it is very difficult to code multi particle system so what we will do is we will use a smart trick we will uh, consider this particle means one of uh, particle very heavy so we can neglect its motion and can focus on this light particle and in simulation also we will focus on uh we will focus on motion of this particle only we will completely neglect this uh this particle's motion and from this potential energy we can derive the equation for force the uh, as you can see here now one more simplification the second approximation we are considering uh this problem in one dimension right so we can easily uh, replace our small r with this small x as we are dealing with the one dimensional problem so let's jump again to the code now this is the second example let's maximize this screen so that you can see this thing so again the entire code is same initialization part heart of mr dynamics beman's algorithm and plotting part here the acceler acceleration term is this means from this force okay and let's run this thing now and see what we are getting so here is our light particle our softball and this red curve represents the lj potential right and uh, similar uh, and here also this uh, orange curve represents the kinetic energy of this system and this uh, green curve represents the potential energy of system okay and uh, in this case also 
this uh, constant green curve represents the total energy of the system now uh, let's jump to our presentation for result and discussion so as i have mentioned earlier that the beman's algorithm is most uh, stable algorithm and uh, here also you can see that how smoothly this uh, algorithm can handle this kind of a sharp peak and uh, let me tell you there are uh, high chances of uh, getting error in this kind of sharp peak but this uh, beman's algorithm handles this uh, problem very uh, nicely so that is the reason why beman's algorithm is very popular among the researchers right so this ends the third part of this tutorial series guys in this part we have covered two example one is pendulum and second is leonard jones potential in next part we will see how to code this boris algorithm this algorithm is very useful when you do plasma physics and discuss some of the explication of molecular dynamics so that is that's it for today guys see you in next video bye